My name is Koji Kato. I'm a 25-year-old man who works at a center field training company. You really are marvelous. My result is getting better. Yay! That's awesome. You did a great job. Hey, you. You are at the bottom of the sales results again. I don't think I'm good at sales. If you say that by yourself, you'll turn into that kind of person. I think you have a point there. Ishida, my co-worker, said that to me with a dumbfounded look on his face. That's why you're such a mess. By the way, will you tell me what you do when you sell things? First, you need to have a good knowledge about the product. With that, you'll be able to make a good presentation for the product. I see. Ishida is at the same batch with me, but since he's smart, he's always at the top of the sales results. When I was heading home feeling gloomy, since I failed while I was trying to sell a product today, a familiar woman talked to me. Oh, Koji-kun, it's been a while. It's been a while, Himoto-san. I think three years have passed since we graduated from the university. How have you been? Well, not so bad. What about you? I'm at my best condition. Where are you going, Koji-kun? I'm going back to my office. I just finished my sales work. I'm going at the same direction. If you don't mind, let's go together. Oh, what a coincidence. I know Himoto-san since we joined the same club at the university. She called me with my first name and somehow she's being too friendly, so I'm getting confused. You know what? I have a useful information for you, so why don't you come with me to the seminar? Um, I'll think about that. What? Can't you decide now? We were walking as we talked and when I realized, we have arrived at the destination. My office is right here, so I'm glad that I met you today. Me too! Oh, are you still using the former line account? Yes, I haven't changed my account. Okay then, I'll contact you later. Oh, ouch! I'm sorry, are you able to stand up? Oh, sorry for that. I didn't pay attention at my surroundings. Do you need help? Thank you. Ouch! It seems that my leg is injured. What? Might be better to poultice it. I'm really sorry. It was my fault to bump into you. If you don't mind, would you take me to a place where I can sit down? Of course. What about here? It's fine. Thank you very much. Uh, may I know your name? I'm Mika Himoto. I'm Masashi Hishida. <laughs> I'm glad that the person who bumped into me is a man I can count on, Ishida-san. I'm flattered. A month later... Gosh, I'm at the bottom again for sales results this month. I'm going out. Oh, have a safe trip. Uh... Ishida didn't say anything at all to me. Speaking of him, it seems that he looks upset whenever I'm around. I've been thinking about why Ishida is acting strange lately. I feel that he's avoiding me somehow, but I just couldn't tell him about that. One day during the weekend, when I was on my way home, I saw Ishida and Himoto walking together. Looks like they get along well with each other. I wonder why the two of them... What is that? It seems that someone is following them. Hey, watch out! Huh? What? Did you even notice that the traffic light was still red? Sorry. I didn't pay attention to that. Well, no wonder. You're wearing that hood over your eyes. Thank you very much. My name is Maya Ishida. That surname. You look similar to him anyway. Are you Ishida's younger sister? Yes. Masashi Ishida is my elder brother. I'm Koji Kato, your elder brother's co-worker. I see. I don't know the reason why you're wearing that kind of clothes, but you should be careful when you walk around. I will. Well then, I'm going home. Wait, Kato-san. I have something that bothers me about my other brother. So, do you mind if we talk about that somewhere? Well, I have time for that. Let's go to the nearest cafe. Thank you very much. I know a good place for that. Please, follow me. Maybe it's because I helped her just now. It seems that Ishida's younger sister doesn't mind holding hands with me at all. I didn't know that a girl's hands is this soft. Then, we arrived at the nearest cafe. So, Maya-san, what would you like to discuss? You can just call me with my first name, Kato-san. Okay then, Maya. Frankly speaking, nowadays my other brother has got himself a girlfriend, but he's been spending money like crazy. He also asked me to lend him some money. 
He's borrowing money from his own younger sister? I thought that was just occasional. He did the same thing after that? Yes. I'd like to know if my elder brother is dealing with some problems at his workplace. Well, I must say that recently, Ishida has stopped talking to me. Did you often talk to each other before that? Ishida is on the same batch with me when we joined the company. So, we often talk about work, but recently, somehow, I feel that he's avoiding me. I see. I just want to confirm, but is the woman who was walking beside Ishida is his girlfriend? Yes, my elder brother showed me the picture of her. I didn't know that he's dating Himoto-san. You know her? She was a friend of mine at the university, but I've never heard any good rumor about her. What kind of person is she? This is only a rumor, so I'm not quite sure. When I spoke about that, suddenly, Maya's smartphone rang. It's from my elder brother. Maya, I have a good news about making money. If this goes smoothly, I'm not only able to pay you back the money I borrowed, but I'll be able to double that. Will you come listen for the details of that? This is... I have a feeling that it's a Ponzi scheme. What should I do? You mustn't go there. First, just tell him to talk about that after you go home. I'll try. I watched Maya as she replied to her elder brother. How was it? We'll have to talk about that after I'm home. If you don't mind, will you let me join the discussion? What? Why? I'm not good at dealing with my works. Ishida often helped me by giving me some advice. It seems that my elder brother is someone that everyone can count on at work. He's always at the top of sales results. He's my motivation. So, since he's in trouble, I want to help him. I'm counting on you, Koji-san. Thanks. Well then, we should leave now. Let me pay the bill. No, I'll pay for my own bill. This is the way I show my appreciation to Ishida, so please, allow me to pay. Oh, well, that's very kind of you. An hour later, together with Maya, I arrived at Ishida's house. I feel as if I was going to greet your parents. I'm nervous. Do you want me to call my parents? Well, your elder brother has been helping me a lot, so I think I should greet them. Jeez, that's not my real intention. Did you say something? Nothing. After a while, my co-worker Ishida arrived. Welcome home! I'm home! Kato, why are you here? Excuse me for being here. Would you like to drink something, Koji-san? You just drank coffee, so would you like some tea? Thanks, Maya. I'd like some tea. Uh... You're addressing each other with first names. By any chance, are you girlfriend and boyfriend? Huh? Of course not. She's right. We just met for the first time today. Uh... Huh? Maya, let me tell you something. You shouldn't be friendly to him. Why? That's because Kato and Mika are... Mika? What's with Mika Himoto? Uh... It's hard for me to tell you, so I've been avoiding you. Honestly speaking, I fell in love at the first sight with your girlfriend, so we're dating now. Sorry about that. What? I've never dated Himoto before. Huh? Mika told me that it's because you really want to be her boyfriend, so you're dating each other. No kidding, but she's now my girlfriend. This is the proof. She told me that you bought this bag for her. That's why I decided to buy her a more expensive bag. You bought that expensive thing? I wonder what's going on. Um, when we're still university students, Mika was a famous Hellraiser. If she hasn't changed at all, I'm sure that she must have a lot of boyfriends. That's nonsense. She told me recently that she only loves me. Well, why don't you ask her to show you her line messages? If she has nothing to hide, she'll show it to you. If I do that, it means I'm doubting her. Cut it off. Maya. If nothing's suspicious, she'll definitely show it to you. I'll do the same thing if I were in the same situation. But it's just too hard to ask. Both me and Maya are worried about you. That's why we told you that. Okay, I got that. We'll have a date tomorrow, so I'll ask her at that time. I'll make sure that you really do that. So, will you come with me, Koji-san? 
Yes, of course. Thank you very much. Maya asked me to join her for dinner, but since I've got too much things to handle that day, I decided to go home. I think I should ask some of my friends who went to the same university about Himoto. The next day, I came to the park, which is the meeting place. Well, I don't think you should confirm this. What do you mean? Last night, I asked those who know things about Himoto. What did they say? They said she's dating several guys. That's a lie! You'll see! I'm worried about him. When something happens, I'll handle it, so your job is to call the police. Deli understood. I'm counting on you. Together with Maya, I'm watching from a distance. After a while, Himoto came. Seems that they've started to fight each other. Looks like she didn't want to show him. If you don't want to show me your contact list, I'm going to break up with you, Mika! Oh, really? Let's break up then. You don't seem to care about that at all. Kata was right about you. So, Koji-kun told you about that? It's too late anyway. Hey, were you lying to me? Even when you told me that you love me? I love those things you gave me. I see. Hello, Himoto-san. You were watching us, Koji-kun. You sure have a nice hobby. You're going for the seminar today, right? What's with that? That's a Ponzi scheme, isn't it? My friends back in the university warned me about that. I'll report to the police. Why are you disturbing my job? It's none of your business, Koji-kun. You've deceived my friend. You deserve that. Oh, even after what have happened, you still think of me as your friend. Of course I do. You've been helping me a lot until now. Oh, Kato. Ishida stood up and gave a serious look. Mika, let's go to the police station. No way! I've realized that I was wrong. I trust Kato. Hmm, it seems that you're capable to make that kind of expression. What do you mean by that? Most of the time, you're always trying to get me in a good mood. What? Since it seems that Ishida is under pressure, I decided to jump into the conversation, but... Hey! Pull yourself together! Oh, I won't be deceived anymore! Who is that girl? My younger sister. You two look alike. I heard everything about you from Kato-san. Really? Huh. I won't be able to escape with the three of you standing in front of me. Let's go, Mika. This can't be helped. After that, four of us went to the police station. Kimoto was interrogated there. Problem is solved now. I agree with you. I know Ishida's bad habit of falling in love at first sight is troublesome, but if something happens, feel free to let me know. I'm willing to cooperate. Yes, I will. Let's go home then. What? Why don't we go on a date instead? Go on a date? We're not dating each other, are we? I'm asking you to be my boyfriend. Jeez, I wonder why you're so dull. I love you, Koji-san. Huh? From when? Since you helped me from getting hit by a truck. That means love at the first sight. You two really are siblings. That's not the only thing. The witty part of you is that you worry about me. Moreover... We shouldn't just stand and talk here. Let's go to a cafe. Yes! After that, we talk to each other a lot about ourselves. You and your elder brother really get along with each other. Yes. Why don't you tell me more about yourself? How about your family? I have no siblings. My father is an ordinary office worker anyway. Please, tell me about your parents' hobby. It's important to know about that when I greet them. You're being impatient. Uh... You know everything about my family. That's unfair. I got it. I'll tell you about that, so stop giving me that look. After we talked about several things, we decided to become boyfriend and girlfriend. Best regards from now on, Maya. Yes. You too, Koji-san. It seems that I'll have to deal with the siblings from now on.